Kaiser, and I'm the director of the Caduceus Institute of Classical Homeopathy. This week is World Breastfeeding Week, so I wanted to share some remedies that can be helpful for breastfeeding moms, which include uh, remedies for mastitis. So I'm going to describe to you our three top remedies for mastitis. The first remedy that comes to mind and this is a remedy that you can get uh, very easily in local health food stores, is belladonna. And belladonna um, is good for mastitis when there is a lot of redness and throbbing. Um, often there's a sudden onset to this kind of mastitis. Um, the mother may have had a throbbing headache or a sore throat um, beforehand because those are also uh, respond to belladonna. The breast may be very hard and sensitive to touch and may feel very heavy and congested. There may even be some red streaks on the breast um, and the mother may feel very very sensitive to the external environment, have a fever and feel very hot and dry. This is also the kind of situation uh, that can come about during these hot summer days where there's already a lot of heat in the environment. And then um, if a mastitis develops, it may be a belladonna type mastitis. Belladonna tends to be a right-sided remedy, but I've certainly seen it work in left-sided mastitis as well. Um, it works well in high potencies, so if you're able to get a hold of a 200C or a 1M, that could be a good thing but uh, in most health food stores you are going to find Belladonna 30C so you would be able uh, to find that pretty easily. So the next remedy um, that is indicated in mastitis in some cases is Bryonia. Bryonia is known as the grouchy bear remedy and so when a woman who is nursing is developing a mastitis uh, that needs Bryonia she may feel very, very irritable and very, very thirsty and not want to be dis disturbed. The breast may feel hard the way it does in Belladonna, but usually not as much heat. Um, it's often more for the first stages of a mastitis with a slower onset. Um, as I mentioned, the Belladonna can um, come on very quickly with Bryonia. It's usually a slower onset, but the um, breast may feel very cold and stony. Um, and uh, they feel very heavy and so um, as I said yeah, having a headache uh, along with the um, along with the mastitis or perhaps before the mastitis and this headache might be uh, just aggravated by any kind of movement even moving your eyeballs can be painful with a bryonia headache so um, a splitting headache that is worse from any kind of motion could be another indication if, uh, if the mother has um, mastitis along with the headache. So uh, with bryonia, uh, it's probably a 30C would be a good potency to start with. It's not a remedy that you necessarily have to go in a very high potency with. And that's, again, a remedy that's very available in health food stores. And finally, a remedy that's a little bit harder to find, but very excellent for um, mastitis, is phytolacca. Um, phytolacca mastitis may come on uh, when the mom gets very cold and damp, so that kind of cold, damp weather may bring it on. It's a great remedy when there's a blocked milk duct, cracked nipples, or cake nipples. Um, there may be a terrible pain in the nipple that radiates over through the entire body. That's kind of what we call the keynote of phytolacca. It's this pain, this intense pain uh, radiating over the entire body from the nipple. There may be some swollen glands associated with, um, with the mastitis that are in the armpit and uh, with the other remedies, um, along with the other remedies, a sense of hardness in the breast and it can address the abscesses of the breast um, that are, have burning pain. So it definitely can help with some um, uh, pretty intense cases of mastitis. As I said, it's a harder remedy to find. 
um, but um, it may be worth having around if you're in a nursing home. So I hope that helps. Um, homeopathy can also be helpful with other kinds of breastfeeding issues, such as make not enough milk. Um, I think constitutional care is really the best uh, the best solution for kind of those kinds of problems because the, your body may not be absorbing nutrients as well as it could and with a good homeopathic remedy um, you may be able to uh, absorb more nutrients and make more milk. Two of the remedies that come to mind uh, in terms of this are calcium carbonica which is homeopathic calcium and silica which is the mineral silica. And so these two are constitutional remedies uh, that sometimes come up in women who are nursing but not able uh, to make enough milk. And by taking the homeopathic remedy, uh, then your body is able to absorb more nutrients from the food and the milk uh, comes out better. So that would require uh, consultation in the homeopath in terms of uh, figuring out which remedies might be right for you. So I hope those tips are helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time.